All right, let's get to some coffee talk now. Frustrated with tipping. Man, it's everywhere on your app, in the store, when you check out. You Subway. Exactly. I went to Subway the other day. And you had a tip? Yeah, and I was like, oh. But I thought you just, that, that that all happened very quick, so boy, it's like all of a sudden 20%, I would, you know. And then you feel guilty when you don't do it, when they're exactly. standing there staring at you. Yep. I get at a restaurant, right? Well, you might not be the only Americans that are cutting down on tipping. New mm. data from payroll provider Gusto shows tipping went down by 7%. Wow. Okay, so this is pertaining to jobs in the non-restaurant leisure and then hospitality industry. So those workers, they made $1.28 in tips per hour at as of November compared to $1.38 the year before. I know that, um, I mean, back when I worked at Skyline, you are like, that was part of your whole thing. Like you wanted to kind of that was your salary work for se. those tips and yeah. have those big tables and stuff. But yeah, I think that it, when it becomes everywhere, it's going to be like McDonald's next. Yeah, you know what I, I mean? yeah. where you feel like feels. you have to do it. Yes, yeah, exactly. So that guilty, I think part of it too, plays a big yes, role. Yeah. A Wall Street Journal report says the decline comes as tipping requests have grown since the pandemic. The yeah. report says this creates, of course, frustrations for customers who feel like they're asked to tip everywhere now. So yeah, and it's I think it's one of those things too is that all of our you know dollar string or all of our purse strings are tight mm -hmm. right now. So it does make it yeah. that much more difficult. I know, um, it, you know, Starbucks and stuff like that. I think I'm almost more comfortable too, like giving the person I know that it was making yeah. that drink that I ordered or something like that, giving them a tip as opposed to just maybe putting it in like a generalized. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think if there's an exception too, I think if you have really good service, like let's That's say the true. barista was like super nice to you and the kids That's and a good point. you want to tip them. And then I think, yes, you, there is some initiative there, but yeah. then I don't know. Other times I'm like, I mean, you just filled up my cup. Right. I mean, I appreciate you and all that you do, right. but I don't want to tip you $3 for it because I don't have the money to do that. And you know what? So that's that's such a good point. So actually, I was at a um, Mexican restaurant on Saturday. It was my um, friend's birthday. Fun. So I told them that in passing. I was just like, oh, oh I'll get it. It's his birthday. Well, uh, then they came around and they had the whole song and uh -huh. everything. So I tipped them money that I had saved earlier in the day off of coupons. See? I added that to the oh, tip. See, that's awesome. Because I was like, that's really nice thing like, to he do. He just made his birthday. So yeah, yeah that was great. That's that was cool. that was great. Very cool. Hey, Christmas is almost.